Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and I'm the founder and CEO of Glowy. And at Glowy, we grow light. So we figure out that 15% uh, of the global electricity consumption is used for lighting and it represents 1.7 billion tons of CO2 emissions every year. It's 83% of the Earth's inhabitants that are affected by light pollution and light si lighting system generates more than 800,000 tons of uh, non-recyclable waste every year. And in the meantime, we have nature. Nature has been through 3.8 billion years of research and development to find efficient solution. And for example, we have bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a phenomenon that is a biochemical reaction of light production happening in a lot of different organisms in nature, like fireflies or glowworms, but also 80% of marine organisms. So it's found on Earth, but most of all, it's ordinary on the oceans. And if it's ordinary, it means that it's efficient. So why not use this source of light to actually light our own lives? So that's what we do at Glowy. We want to go from artificial lighting to biological lighting. And the goal with that is to develop a biological lighting system made of marine bacteria, bioluminescence bacteria, that we engineer and then that we grow to have this living raw material that is unlimited because it can, it's living, it can just grow, and then it's 100% organic. So this raw material can actually take different shapes, different states, to propose new needs for lighting. So here it is. It's a biosource and biodegradable source of light. First, we use water and nutrients that are abundant on limited resources. We mix them with, with our microbes. And at the end, we have an unlimited light resource and 100% organic waste that can be neutralized and put back into water systems so that the equation is very interesting in terms of un un environmental impact. So the goal behind it is to revolutionize the lighting industry through three main aspects. The first one, of course, is the environment, by reducing the global impact of artificial lighting, which is uh, mainly on production and on the end of life. The second thing is well-being, both on light pollution and visual pollution, because first, artificial lighting is destroying biodiversity in cities, but also it's disturbing on in internal systems or hormonal systems, and it's just a problem with, it's with comfort to be very aggressed by the lighting system that we have today. And, th and third, uh, it's about creativity. Because we're not producing a, an object like a bell, but a raw material that can take different shapes, then it gives a lot of different possibilities to change the way we use these lighting systems, for example, in terms of architecture. So our goal is to design more livable and sustainable cities and replace artificial lighting on street furniture, on the grounds, park and gardens and buildings. And we're going to go through that by working with a strong business model that involves energy companies and municipalities. The goal for us is to license and produce our uh, microbes and then give it to distribute and operate to energy companies that already have the skills in terms of lighting industry and in terms of maintenance. And then they will sell this new biological brick of lighting to their historical clients like municipalities, promoters and builders. But the thing is, to go there, there is a lot of work because the market is huge and because the ambition and the scale is huge. So to go there, we decided to start by introducing bioluminescence in our daily life while we can generate revenues to create a sustainable company. So we've started after one year after the launch of the company to sell uh, systems for ephemeral lighting installations. The goal is pedagogical. It's called Glow Events. And we go in events, we propose that to clients, and we show what bioluminescence look like and explain to the people how they can use that in their different industries. This is something that really works. We've been doing more than 25 events since then, uh, producing more than 9,000 uh, units of light, and uh, basically showing this bioluminescent system and convincing more than 3,500 people with different clients. What we figure out is that lighting is in all kinds of industries. So we need to do sensibilization to all of these industries to make them understand how they can change their habits and use biological lighting instead of artificial lighting. The next thing that we're targeting is indoor lighting, because first, it's, it's simpler than to go outdoor in terms of technology, so we can do it sooner. And second, the markets are prescribers. So they will basically use this uh, indoor system in different industries for well-being uh, purposes in hospitality, transportation, offices, headquarters, leisure, and care. The goal is to not just use bioluminescence as a source of light, but to really show the benefits that it has in terms of well-being. Because what we figure out, 
by doing a lot of immersive experience of bioluminescence is that this light has, of course, ecological values, but it also is very interesting because the wavelength that it's producing is different from what LEDs have. It's more uh, green than blue. And first, it has relaxing virtues. And second, it's not a problem for eyes in terms of health. So the goal is to slowly introduce this use of bioluminescence indoor with, uh, like for example, retailers and, and building industries to then go outdoor. And the third, uh, oh, and I just forgot that we uh, did a successful launch of this new product. So it's the first product of continuous biological lighting system. So it will last as soon as you fit it. And we've launched it with Air France and tested it in passengers right before they go on the plane uh, to just relax them and make them enjoy the, the good uh, light that this produced. And the third thing that we're doing to uh, act on this education purposes and show people that biomedicine is a real solution is to go on uh, B2C markets. What we do with that is that we replace a chemical industry called chemiluminescence. You know this little glow stick that you just break and produce light? But the thing is, it's this uh, toxic and chemical product that we use. And with the bacteria that we have, we can use them as microplants to actually produce biological proteins that can replace these chemicals in these products. So we've been working in with different industries in these sectors to run pilot projects and co-development projects to put bioluminescence in the end of the, the mass population. So this is called bioeconomy. We use what nature is doing the best and try to replace biological lighting, electrical lighting in, in our world and in our daily lives to really change the way we produce, we consume, and we enlighten. So to do that, as I mentioned, the recognition is very important because we need to do a lot of pedagogy because it's not about just changing a bulb, it's about changing a methodology of work and implementing this new way of life and new business model in this lighting industry. So we've been uh, recognized by a lot of different organizations worldwide and the goal for us is to be the pioneers in this biomedicine field to be recognized. Wow, it's already done. And this is us. <laughs>